All right, you guys, so this is uh, where we're gonna set up the merch table today. Every event that you do, you definitely wanna have a merch table where you can kind of promote your other sample paintings and just have another place where you can have like your business cards and your postcards if you have some and some flyers or whatever. You want all of your customers to have a way to contact you and it's great just to have a little uh, spot in the room dedicated to all this stuff so you can easily just hand someone a business card. Um, I can't tell you how many times one event leads to so many other events. You know, I might be teaching at a kid's party and then I'll book a corporate event for like a college or something like that, it's crazy. Um, so this is kind of what you basically want to have your merch table look like. Um, so I actually have four of my sample paintings here and they're just propped up on tabletop easels. Um, I prepared the, the merch table with just some of the uh, tablecloth, the pink tablecloth that we have. If you want to go above and beyond and get a fitted tablecloth, kudos to you. Uh, you can definitely do that if you want. Um, I have a guest book where customers can sign up with their emails and everything. Um, I do have a few postcards that all you licensees will get, definitely. I also have my business cards that all of you licensees will get, definitely. And if you want to print out your own flyers, you can totally do that too. Another thing that I really encourage just as an artist is if you want to sell your own professional work at these events, you totally can. Um, who am I to tell you not to try to make a living as an artist, you know what I'm saying? So for many years, I've set up merch tables at art festivals. I used to play in bands. Um, so, you know, I was behind the merch table after a gig, playing on stage and trying to sell my CDs and everything um, through the days that I played with bands. So um, if you want to promote your professional stuff, totally go ahead. If you want to sell like your own oil paintings or something, or your own matted prints, uh, note cards, uh, I really encourage you guys to do that. The only thing you ha that you have to be aware of is that you need to um, pay your own sales tax and all those things and also your own federal and state tax. So as long as you're consciously aware that you need to take care of your own taxes on your own professional artwork, go to, you know, more power to you, man. Um, I would say on an average night, um, I'm able to sell like maybe a print or something and it's maybe like 15, 20 bucks, but on the high end, I've made actually a couple hundred dollars um, on top of the money that you make from teaching the paint party. So it's just kind of like another add-on sale for yourself personally. And like I said, I totally encourage that. Um, for fundraisers, um, like you'll read in the licensee training manual, we have, for, for our rates for fundraisers are $40 a person and then we donate $15 toward the charity or the organization. And what I tend to do too at the merch table is I donate 25% of my own professional work as well. So it's just another way to kind of, you know, um, it's another way to kind of give back to the charity or the organization. So that's another thing you can do as well. But again, that's all on you. You'd have to do that separately from JJ Artworks. Um, but yeah, the merch table is definitely the way to go, man. It's definitely the best way to promote yourself and I highly recommend it. So that's the merch table.